Today I will be doing a 3 inch stainless schedule 10 at 6G position. I got my coupons ready to go. I did not clean the outside because I would just be doing the root pass. But if you are taking the test, make sure to clean all the outside and the inside real well with the Tiger Disc. But since I'm just running the root pass, that's all I'll do. I'm setting my machine at 60. I'm running a Miller uh, Pro 300 to uh, do the bridge tax and to run the root. I have all my tax ready right here. You don't need much, you just need a little bit. I put three tacks, one at 12 o'clock, one at three, and one at around eight. I have everything ready to go right here. Everything's ready to purge. I have tape all around, make sure everything's nice and sealed. For my purge, I just have a piece of bandana wrapped around my argon hose, and that's pretty much all you need, and you're ready to go. When I start, I like to start around five o'clock to reach as much as I can over to the right side, so it's easier to do the right side. Some spots don't let you start at 5, but they will let you know that they want you to start at 6. So you might want to be informed before you start. When I start doing my root pads, like I said, I start around 5 as you can see right here. Uh, I just start pushing the rod in there and feeding it into the puddle. Make sure that uh, you're feeding enough wire into the puddle so the root comes out nice with a nice bead. If not, you will be under flushed and you will fail the test. Like I said, I do my root pads at 60. I'm running 60 amps right now, and that's pretty much all you're gonna need. And you'll have some good heat. If you get cold wire on your root, it means you're running too cold, so you need to go up five. <music> whenever you finish to leave the rod in the pipe for a few seconds so it does not get contaminated you don't have to cut the uh, clips off as you can see right here I ran the first bead it looks good good color it's not under flushed nice bead in there now you want to jump over to the right side to start running that side of the root whenever you start I don't like to grind my stopping starts because I'll have to wait for the oxygen to purge out so I just start right there but make sure to heat up heat it up really good before you start feeding the wire in there so you get a good stop and start just keep feeding the wire in basically the same method like I said make sure you feed the wire into the puddle so you get nice root in there <music> about a quarter left the gap did close on me so i'm gonna go ahead and grind it out with the 1 8 disc it's better to have a tiger disc with you but i don't have it at the moment so i'll just use that 1 8 disc i went ahead and grind it out as you can see i have a 316 gap again and i have everything ready to go
of cutting it and redoing it again. I will post a video on how to fix a root patch if you mess up. But uh, yes, I had to redo it because it came out too flush and I just didn't like how it came out. This is when I finished. This is my tying right here. Like I said, it's way too flush. I really don't like it at all. You might want to fix that for a test. I ended up fixing it. Here it is. It looks nice. Everything beats in there. But I will be posting a video on how to fix a root pass. So if you want to watch it, make sure to subscribe. If you found this video informative, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. I hope to hear from y'all next week.